Kia ora team, my name's Ben and today we're going to look at medical terminology. So if you first started learning anatomy and physiology, it can be quite a scary place full of large words that don't seem to make sense. But good news, as soon as we start breaking them down and learning about them, it gets a lot easier, I promise. So the first bit of a word is a root word. So this is the basic meaning of a word. And for an example, it could be a body part. So every time we see gastro, it means stomach, or cardi, it means heart. And if you think about some words that you've heard already, so a cardiac arrest, someone has a heart attack to do with the heart, gastric bypass surgery, someone has had stomach surgery to help them lose weight. All right, the next thing is joining. When we join two words together, there's a combining sound, and often they just add an O. For example, when we've got our acromion, which is the tip of the shoulder, and our clavicle, which is this bone here, when we join them together, we get acromion, clavicle, we smush them together and add an O in the middle. So acromio, clavicular joint. So when we're looking at a word, the suffix is the end of a word. When you look at the suffix, it could be a procedure, a condition, a disorder, or a disease. So, for example, every time we see itis at the end of a word, it means inflammation. So, if you have a look at gastritis, gastri means stomach, itis means inflammation. Go. So, gastritis is an inflammation in the stomach. Then, carditis, cardi, heart. Itis inflammation, so inflammation of the heart. So the more we learn our prefixes, suffixes, and root words, the easier it is to piece them together. Which brings us to prefix. So now prefix we find at the start, suffix is at the end. So a prefix we find at the start of a word, and it's going to tell us things like location, time, number, status, or the color of an object or a thing. For example, when we've got peri, that means around, and when we see endo at the start, it means deep or inside. So here's two words, pericarditis. So peri is around, we know cardi means heart, itis is inflammation. So this would be inflammation around the outside of the heart. And so endocarditis, endo is deeper inside, cardi is heart, itis is inflammation. So endocarditis is inflammation or swelling on the inside of the heart. So that's our prefixes. All right, team, so the more we get familiar with root words, joining words, suffix and prefix, the easier it is to break words down and pretty soon medical terminology is going to be just as easy as any language. Alright, good work team, we'll see you soon.